Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Barely Art Live. I'm here with Jeremy. I'm here with Andrea. And we are here to celebrate, well, it's celebrating the end of summer and celebrating the beginning of school at the same Indeed. time. Um, but we're really, actually what we're really doing is celebrating teachers because yes. it is about to be their busy season. Oh, indeed. <laughs> They've been off for like a couple of months now yeah. and now it's back into it. Vacation is over and I know you, I feel for teachers. My mom used to work in a school and it is not an easy job. Uh, she worked in a, not as like an attendance all. clerk, but she told me all these stories about kids coming in and out and it's crazy. So we wanted to put together a little teacher survival kit today, um, and you guys can put all sorts of things inside of it. It's like a little box. It's really cute. It's kind of like those old nurses box sort of thing, but teacher themed. Yes, teacher themed box. Yes. So we have a little bit of different things here. We've mm -hmm. got the box itself that would be removable. Uh, we will also have a little thing for a gift card. Mm -hmm. And yeah, or you can fill it up with other little goodies, different things. But... Yeah, it's really cute. And then I have a small list of suggestions that I looked up to find like Extra what could kind of fit in this kind of box. But before we get to that, we'll go ahead and go through our announcements very quickly. Indeed. Um, let's see. CMSS, the Card Maker Success Summit, is really close. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. It is in August. And uh, we'll be on, I think it's a three or four day event, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're on the Friday. Is it 10th, I think? I believe. I keep thinking so. 10 it's or 11. Friday. It's one of those. It's a Friday. If it's, if <laughs> I keep forgetting. It's the 11th. It's the 11th. Okay, the 11th. August 11th at 1220 12 Central. I think Central. Yeah, yeah Central. Um, Our time, yes. Yeah, our time. Uh, we will be on with Brandy and we'll be doing a very fun Christmas card. Her be. theme for the um, Card Maker Success Summit is the end of year holiday cards. It's the kind that you like, don't stress, have fun, and start doing them so that way you can send out a bunch around when All December hits. Exactly. <laughs> and our card is going to be amazing thanks to Andrea. I did my best. <laughs> We've got lights on it. We've got some movement going on, different mm. things, interactive little things. But I kept it simple. Simple. I started off complex, and then I decided I was being crazy and over the top. So uh, I calmed it down just a little bit to make it something that you can make for more simple. than just like a couple people. Yes. Keep it simple. Yes. simple. You can send it and spread the love. And yes. then, um, so check that out. It's a free event. It's... Um, in August, it's in August, we'll be on on August 11th, and it's gonna be really fun. There's a lot of amazing card makers out there. Like, I feel like we're always the guest crafter who, um, it's like cards for crafters almost. Because we're crafters, not card yeah. makers per yeah, se, exactly, you know? Yeah. Like, we don't have cards the for markers crafters. and things. So, yeah, we're definitely making cards for crafters. So, yes. if you're a crafter and you're like, oh, I don't really do cards, I don't have the die cuts and whatnot, that's okay. Yes. We got your bag. Yes. Yeah. And let's see. Okay. Um, Carbaker Success Summit after that in September mm -hmm. is the Pinners Conference. Mm -hmm. And conference being extravaganza. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be so much a fun. Lot, a lot. And don't get those confused with all the uh, other Pinners Conferences that are going around mm -hmm. across the United States. We were talking about the Dallas. Dallas. The, the Texas. <laughs> the Texas Pinners Conference. Pinners Conference that's in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, they always say Dallas for DFW. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be at the Woodall Rogers Center. And we're going to have a booth there, of course. And we already have our crafts are in. They are Got packed our make and up. Takes. Yeah. So yes. super excited. Our booth is coming together slowly, but surely. And some freebie stuff. And oh, yeah. yeah. We've got a sure. lot of different things coming our way. Mm -hmm. So um, that is September 22nd and 23rd. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of at the end of the month. So you have plenty of time to prep for it. But it's if you use our code barely, you know, as in barely art, um, on the Texas Pinners Conference website, you'll get $5 off. So if you're just doing a general admission ticket, which I think is $12, so yes. $5 off is $7. So for yes. $7, which is less than a movie to Barbie, which I'm going to go to Tuesday, <laughs> <laughs> movie to go to Barbie, then you're going to have a lot of fun and Absolutely. learn a lot of different techniques. So Because yes, it's not just card makers or crafters or it's like anything Pinterest thinking it's any like, DIY type yeah. things any DIY feels mm -hmm. materials flies but there's actual resin others. there's paper there's quilting there's um sewing there's cooking there's people yeah. who there was like I think last year it was sponsored by Home Depot so there was like tools oh, wow. for wood and yes. glass etching <laughs> Oh yes, you can 
go around and look at that. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, I have to take a break or two. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll be back, guys. I'm going to go uh, craft with some people, and then we won't see yeah, him again. Like, bye. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Check that out. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's our Me first, too. like, really good crafting yeah. in-person yes, event. Exactly, so, yes, exactly, yes. It'll you know, be fun. Join the fun. fun. Come and see us. Yes. And then after that, let's see, we have, uh, we do have some uh, launches coming up as well. I'm going to mm-hmm. mention for a moment. August mm-hmm. 25th, we've got Chibitronics and Anne Pham's Useful Collection mm-hmm. uh, coming to Barely Art. So stay tuned for more info on that. We are, I'm, I'm excited. It's the, it's, that's two Friends of Barely Art products coming yes. in. So. At the same time, we've got a lot of things coming up, actually. Oh, yeah, things are hip happening. It's hip happening, hip hopping happening. <laughs> And then at the end of the year, in December, uh, we'll be having Craftmas again. So yes. I'm just going to throw that in there. Boom, we're gearing boom, up boom, for it. Boom. It's all coming coming up. Oh, yes. All at once. So we're going to be exhausted, but really excited and having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We've spent a lot of time planning. Mm-hmm. But before any of that, we are coming back to what we're doing today, which is making this teacher survival kit because it is the school year is beginning yes. again. Yes. And where can they get this survival kit? Oh, let me think. It's on that one site. One um, site. Art, um, kind of art. Yeah. Uh, sort Clearly of art. art. <laughs> Likely art. Likely <laughs> art. Uh, oh, oh. Barely, Barely art. Barely art. <laughs> yeah, right. Barely art. Yes. Go check it out. All those free SVGs. And including this including one. Including this one. And this one is called the survival kit. It's or teachers, teachers. I believe it's teacher kit? survival kit. Yeah. Perfect. So it's a 3D project, but it's not complicated. It's not complicated. All right. (laughs) So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. So we've got a lot of different pieces here. Um, We've got the box itself. It's like this size right here. It doesn't look like crazy big when you're cutting it, but it's rather big. It's rather rather big. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. So we've got the box itself. I can tell you because I know it's going to be a question. (laughs) About seven inches by four inches mm-hmm. by probably another four inches. Four inches, yes. Yeah, so right here is the um, actual box itself. And these pieces are going to be used for the lid. Yes. This is the little handle. And we've got tons of decorations mm-hmm. here. And this little uh, card here is a for gift card to give your teacher. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And these are, I love these. These are fun. And they're cute. Yeah, these little... These are cut out little little tabby tab things going on that make it look like notebook paper, but it's not notebook paper. I like them. That's noteworthy. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and start w- working on the box itself. Okay. So I'm going to move the cute little decorations aside. I think the most complicated thing about this box is going to be the handle because it is like a 3D handle. Probably. But if you're trying to se- separate your pieces here, there are on the tabs little squares and circles. So let me see how close I can get okay, here. Okay, yes. So yes. This is a square, so therefore it's part of the lid. And that's a circle, mm-hmm. and that's going to be part of the actual box yes. base. So look for the circles are going to be the bottom, mm-hmm. circles for bottom, and the squares for the top. Yes. So you'll have the bigger pieces, or except for that one, but the circle ones here. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. And so remember, these are scored. So the black lines on there, make sure you change those to score lines. Yes. It says so in like once you um, like download it or like the instructions on it. But, you know, I've done Sometimes. it before where I just kind of end up with a square. And I'm like, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> it needs to be folded. Yoink. Yes, if it's just cut right across it. It's easy yeah. to do. It's easy to do. I remember the first time that happened to me, I was like so shocked. I was like, what's going on? I broke the file. It's all wrong. I just didn't change the score. Okay, so we're just folding on all those score marks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Putting that together there. This project is relatively simple when it comes to materials, aside from like whatever paper that you're wanting. So we've got some foil paper here. And then we got blues and whites and um, greens and yellows. But mm-hmm. other than that, like it's just glue and cubies today. Yes, glue and cubies. I mean, we use a little bit of, as you can see here, we've got this shiny, shiny metallic paper mm-hmm. there. We've got, I think, a little bit. Actually, no, we don't. We've pretty much all used just the regular stuff. I think this might be a little bit of some texture somewhere. Texture yes. paper. A little bit of texture paper on the yellow. But ultimately, it's pretty much straightforward. Regular old cardstock that you're used to. 
And as always, we're curious, where are you guys crafting from today? Indeed. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Always like to hear we're in the good old state of Texas. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> in Arlington, which is, if you don't know where that is, it's wedged right in between Dallas and Fort Worth. Right next to the Ranger Stadium. All right. Let me look at the comments we've got today. I've got YouTube open right now. Okay. We've got a Catherine. Hello from, oh, we know Catherine. She yeah. was on last week. We know Catherine. Hello from South Texas. I hope everyone is staying cool in this crazy heat. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. It is oh, over yeah. 100 degrees every single day. Yeah, exactly. 102. Fahrenheit. 102. 102. Yes. Not 100 degrees Celsius or we'd be cooking. Oh, <laughs> well, it feels like we are. Barbecuing. Barbecuing. Berber. We've got Billy, Jeanette, um, Jeanette. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what the name is. It's a uh, Jeanette Ching Kong Coin. Oh, it's Jeanette Jeanette here under my hubby's name. I hate this heat upstate New York. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Jeanette. Hello. Glad hello. Again. I did not read the whole message as I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> Would have saved Jeanette, me quite, quite a bit of time. It is. Let's see. Tina, hello from. Northwest Oregon. Ooh. Ooh, hello. You probably have the perfect weather right now, I'm guessing. <laughs> We've got Darlene from, hello mm -hmm. from Southern California. Mm -hmm. Ooh, also warm. Hello, hello. All right, let's see. Oh, Catherine says she already has her ticket for Pinners. Hey, uh, even better. And then this Lisa. is Ethan. This is our first Pinners, but personally my first Pinners. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so I went for fun. fun last year. Yeah. You did not go. I did not go. And then Lisa, a happy hello right from alley. Trinidad and Tobago. Hello. Hello. All righty. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Yes. Okay. So make sure that you've got your box here. Uh, make sure that you have them all in the right order. Just look at where your tabs are, okay? So the first piece here, you've got this. It's two little tabbies there. You can always build them a little bit differently, but just make sure that you don't have double tabs anywhere. So in this case, I've got this one here. I've got just the single tab on top. I've got the double tab here mm -hmm. on bottom, and then the double tab on the right and the single tab on the left. But you might find, oh, it fits a little bit differently. But just make sure there's tabs on all sides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's not tabs on all sides, then there's something wrong. <laughs> Promise you, it works. It's and one I big old puzzle. Christine um, from Lucerne Ca uh, Valley, California. Hello. Hello, hello, and welcome, everyone. Welcome, oh. welcome. All righty. All right, guys, I've got another question for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people, or a lot of, uh, of our viewers here are, of I course, crafters it. and what? Wait, sorry, keep going, keep going, keep going. I, I spoke too soon. Oh, you, yeah, I, I think don't think I know you knew exactly. it. I do know. Do you I know? don't know. Okay, what do I know? You don't know, because this is a, this is a random question. Yes. I was just going to ask. About? Who are teachers? Oh. <laughs> 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 Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Just we'll get kidding. to whatever you want to say. No, 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 no. Teachers first, yes. Teachers. Okay, yes. Um, so <laughs> you distracted me. <laughs> I was going to ask if you guys have any teacher, if you were teachers, or if you guys have any friends that are teachers. Yes. Or shout um, out to all the teachers. Yes, yeah, shout out to all the teachers, or like if you're uh, kids are in school and you know you're good friends with the teachers. Just basically, do you know what teachers are like? Because I would love if you guys put some suggestions in there for people who don't know what to mm -hmm. get, put in their teacher survival kit. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I've got a few suggestions gifts, I got online, ideas, but yeah, I yeah. personally haven't seen a teacher in a long time because I don't go to school anymore. I finished that. So I don't meet a lot of teachers actually anymore. Mm -hmm. So I would love if you guys put some suggestions in the suggestions in there i run into a few here and there like yeah. my uh uh my technically step cousin <laughs> he is a band slash music teacher mm. yeah so he's quite uh fun because in his district that he just got transferred to he is having to set up the entirety of his room from scratch like there is no band room for him basically what so did they, i do wrong they have to uh um, oh wait no no yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, great. Exactly. Let, me, let me say that. Okay, that was an issue. Make sure there's no tabs on top, right? Because remember, this is just going to be a lid that sits on top, right? <laughs> yeah. So there's no tabs on top. So 
So don't put tabs on top. I was doing right? myself up. No tabs on top. No tabs on top. Uh, if, oh, we also have instructions that we don't have in front of us, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, there's instructions on the website, barely.art. They're in a nice little cartoon file, so it'll tell mm -hmm. you exactly which one's going what. Just kind of like a little Lego thing. Yeah. I, I, I psyched myself out is what happened here. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, so I know you know. <laughs> All right, so what were you so excited about? Oh, what I was excited about is in non barely art news. Non barely art in news? Non barely art news. news is this? If you had $1,000, oh. that's where I was going with this, what would you buy? Okay, well, anyways, what's happening right now is that Cricut and Glowforge, if you don't know which either one of those, Cricut is the cutting. Uh, paper cutting machines slash vinyl cutting machines. They have released a giant version of their machine. I don't yeah. even know the name of it. Cricut got bigger. It's the Cricut Venture. It's Venture. 25 inches. The Cricut Venture, yes. Uh, or it cuts, it's able to cut 25 inches. Yes, 25 inches across. That's so you lot. can have, you know, our your typical Cricut's 12 inches, right? So you're doubling. Yeah. Less that. than like 11.5, oh, yeah, considering yes. it has like the Let space the mats and all that. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, that is true. So they have made a giant, bless you, Thank a you. giant one. And then Glowforge just announced that they have made a smaller Glowforge. So if you don't know what a Glowforge is, the Glowforge is a laser cutter that is meant for hobbyists um, to do primarily, I would say wood is probably the most common material, but you can do engraving on cups and uh, and on leather. And cut out acrylic. There's like keychains key going chains. on I'm seeing. There's a lot. Basically, I hopped on Instagram and everyone had a Glowforge. I think it's, um oh, what's it called? It's a, it's a Glowforge. Uh, Starts with the name. Aurora? Aurora. Aurora, I think. Yeah, yeah it's super cute. <laughs> yeah, it's really I saw, cool. I think we had accidentally saw like a spoiler on it and I didn't, we couldn't figure out if it was real or not. We yeah. were just We like, saw someone who accidentally leaked it early. Yeah. And, and we're so, like, I, we can't find this anywhere. And then it was like, and then all of a sudden, they had a specific day that it came out. Yeah, we're like oh, everyone had one, and it was exactly. amazing. That's why. But both machines are around a thousand dollars each. Yes, they are. So it's true. So if you had a thousand dollars, thousand dollars, would you casually get throw around a Glowforge or a Cricket Venture? A Cricket Venture. Just saying. Currently, we have neither. We don't have either, but we do have the variations of both of them. Yes. <laughs> we have the full size Glowforge and the we have crickets. crickets. It's the smaller crickets, but yes. And some real crickets sometimes. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> but yeah, in my opinion, with a thousand dollars, I would definitely go for the Glowforge. I want the Glowforge. Because it makes more sense. Like having a giant cricket, I guess, is kind of helpful, but it just seems really wasteful in my Didn't opinion. you have a theory about it? What was my theory? I forgot already. You said, or about the cricket that you, that they're gearing it for something else. That the, Your theory was oh that oh it's yes so my big. my theory for yeah. cricket is that um, is that because they have now a larger more expensive cricket uh, they've basically made a marketing move to say oh well if you want to get the maker it's not that much more or it's a lot cheaper than the venture or whatever mm. so then at that point it's like okay well you know if you go up to your significant other or whoever and it's like hey I want to buy this thing. And you're like, wow, five hundred dollars is expensive for a cricket maker, <clears throat> and be like, well, at least it's not the thousand dollar one. Actually, you start with the thousand dollar one. You well, say, yeah, hey, sure. I really want the cricket you venture, can start that way and, the, and they're like, a thousand dollars is a lot. Yes, you and can they take say, it Okay, you know way. what? I'll downgrade. How about this other option? It's half the price. Well, then at that point, what can they argue? <laughs> yes, but I still think the stronger move is Glowforge's. Is move. Oh, yeah. just, that move is a big move. Oh my goodness. It is big. That I'm, is a big move. I want it. I'm like, I don't have a casual thousand dollars to throw around. Yeah, I barely had money for my ticket for Barbie movie on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm just like, I kept thinking, I was like, what if I just like make just right off the bat a hundred like keychains and yeah. sell them for if 10 bucks pop, yeah. boom. You can do that. I can get them. I'm like, but then I'm going to be walking around like, I don't know, Walmart and be like, hey, who wants keychains? That's true. So yes. I don't know. I'm not really a salesperson, but. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is that, yes, you can, but really it's for, like, that one makes more sense because you've basically made your thing so much more accessible for people that wanted one. Yeah. Now there are problems with the, the, the Glowforge, I would say. It's harder to use. It's difficult mm -hmm. to learn. You're dealing with a laser. So now you're dealing with fire and you're dealing with um, 
you're dealing with uh, filters too, mm -hmm. because with the laser, you can't just burn whatever you want because it's hazardous. Yes. Right, so like there's different materials, there's a lot more learning they have to do, in my opinion, than I would say Cricut, uh, because you're dealing with paper, it's lower risk, the material cost isn't as high, mm -hmm. right, because you have to buy wood versus paper, right? If you screw up a piece of paper, it's no big deal. If you True. screw up like a you know really expensive acrylic or something like, oh wow, well there's you know 20 bucks down the drain. Yeah. Very so true. it is gonna be a harder sell, I think, that way. But the, the, the way they position themselves as far as their audience, fantastic, I think. Yeah. Because most people I think are just gonna be like, oh yeah, I don't want a big cricket. Who cares? I want a smaller glow forge. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people use these products on wood, and I just want to throw it out there that barely art. Barely art works on wood. Works on wood. I too. just want to yes. just just throwing that out there to you yes, guys. We actually made our signs too with the <laughs> with oh, our yeah. glue, too, which we have our signs. I don't know if we'll show them now or later, I'll but have to show. Just imagine. Oh, I will show them we'll later because I want to finish this project still. But this, but giant. So stay giant. tuned for that big old one. If that you haven't seen it from last week, and our bear too. Yeah. <laughs> Too. The big old, big old ones. You'll see them. They're down there hanging out, chilling. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. All right, so now we're doing this next little bit here. Working Same thing. On the thing. lid now. On the lid. Same mm -hmm. thing here. Just put all your pieces down. Make sure all your tabbies are going the right way, etc., etc. So, like in this case, this tabby is going down. I've got that wrong. I need to flip it. Right. We've so, got Patty go. on, tab, and tab, she tab, says, tab, tab, I'm tab. trying to get. A girlfriend to go with me to Pinners. Well, we would welcome you there. Yes, we're and if you excited. don't have a girlfriend to go with you to Pinners, we'll be there. So we'll just... be there. We're fun. We're friendly. <laughs> exactly. Just stop on by. Yeah. We'll be your buddy. All righty. So do that here. Yeah, I wonder if Home Depot is going to be there. I don't know. I wonder. That'd be amazing. There was so also that out. other um, tools brand. Was there the Milwaukee? The Walt. The Yes, that one. It's DeWalt. DeWalt? It's the green yes. one. That's green, right? No. Oh, my bad. What was it? Roby. Ryobi. Ryobi's green. Oh, DeWalt's the yellow one. Yes, isn't it? DeWalt's the yellow one. Yeah, no, it was the green one. Sorry. Oh, wow. It just crushed yeah. his dreams. Yeah, did exactly. we get that on camera? Yeah, we did. Just like, we're going to have to make like so a I'm, YouTube I'm short. A DeWalt, like, Andrea crushes DeWaltist. Jeremy's dreams. DeWaltist. You're DeWaltist? DeWaltist. <laughs> All my tools are DeWalt. Most of them are DeWalt. I like Milwaukee too, but most of them are DeWalt. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Right. Kathy on Facebook said she met us at the XOXO conference. Oh, oh hello, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. You will recognize this set then, right? You know exactly mm -hmm. everything that's happening <laughs> with XO, especially with XOXO. And Everyone that. that comes in the office is always surprised at how small the set is. Yeah, the, sm the set's pretty small. Yeah, it is. Is it is from right here to <laughs> wherever. Point your arm out that way. Point my arm. Yeah, it's well. Where? You need the other camera. <laughs> yeah, this, this is it. This is as big as it is. This is our. This is this is it. This is the set. <laughs> it's that wide. It doesn't get any bigger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, roughly uh, two Andrea arm lengths. It's one. I only have one arm out. I mean, two, two-ish. One and a half. Mm. Something along that lines. Something along that lines. I don't know. Susan wants to know what we are creating. We are creating a teacher survival kit, which is basically a little box with a little handle. And we've got uh, some gift card holder, a gift card holder, and some lovely teacher appreciation decorations. Yes, because school is back in session. School and is back in session. I know my, um, you know that song, uh, the Christmas song, where it's just like, and mom and dad can't wait for school to start yes, again? Exactly. Yeah, I know you guys are feeling that right now. <laughs> um, no, as kidding. parents, everyone's really tired. You know, it's like, you're, you know, they're there 24 7. Exactly. But now, at least those are your kids. Teachers. Yeah, exactly. That's like true. teachers are dealing with like thirty children. All at once running around. All at once running around. So Yeah, well it's thirty children plus sometimes thirty children with thirty adults that are um also children. <laughs> <laughs> like college, you mean? No, not like college age, but just people that act oh, childish. Childish. Too, uh, because you have to deal with the like you know, like back in the day, it's like, oh the teacher says, like, oh, 
you know, your kid was acting up or whatever, and then the teacher turns to the kid and says, hey, why were you acting up? I'm like, I'm uh-huh. sorry, blah, blah, blah. Now it's like, hey, te- uh, hey, parent, your teacher's acting up, and the parent goes, well, why didn't you do anything? <laughs> yeah, I've seen some, like, like I follow uh, this teacher uh, on uh, TikTok, uh, uh, and she was talking about, she get, you know, she tells X out, like, stories of her own and stories that people send in to her. Yeah. And, oh, my goodness, there's yeah. some people, there was, like, this one lady um, in the reenactment, she was like, yes, yeah, so... Every day that week, the the kid was acting up, and she tells the parent like, "Hey, you know, your kid's doing this, your kid's doing this." And then at the end of the week, the the principal has now suspended the kid, and then she's the the parent tells or the teacher tells the parent like, "Hey, your kid's now suspended because they did this and this." And then they're just like, "How could you let it get so bad? How dare you? Wow, I can't believe you wouldn't be like responsible." And I'm like, "What? That can't be real." But like I said, my mom worked at a school, and she dealt with a lot of parents. It is real. Yes, it is. And, you know, the few parents spoil it for the rest of the oops. For the oops. Oops. <gasps> no, you got coffee on it. Oops. It's it's good. It's <laughs> fine. Actually, but yeah, if I could grab something. I don't even know how that happened. I just moved it, and the next thing you know, it was attacking me. <laughs> My bad. Anyhow, so we want to, you know, get a little picture to the teachers. Towel. Uh, I don't have paper towel, but I'm sure we can get from one. From the back, I mean. Oh, then yes. <laughs> You're answering for them. Yes. <laughs> they said yes. They tell me it was okay. But yeah, so we want to show some appreciation to the teachers who are about to have a very fun, I'm sure, educational, but long year. Yes. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, teachers. I'm so I'm going to cover on. that piece with this piece here. Yeah, like, good idea. But anyways, this is what it ends up being. Thank you. Okay, so this is what's going to end up being basically like a little shoe box is what you got here, right? So again, we just laid out those pieces like that, and then we glued them up all the way around. Make sure your tabs are all tabbed to the right direction. And then you've got your little shoe box thing going on here. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Fits together. And look at that. You can hardly see the coffee stain. (laughs) Unlike our glue, that does stain. It does not dry clear. It does not dry clear like our glue. All right, so got that bit. <laughs> Andrew's still working. I'm working. It's the 3D projects, man. It's I'm a slow, I'm a you're slow th- one. You're a slow 3D project. I usually give the 3D projects to you and Grace. <laughs> Not on purpose. It just keeps no happening practice. that way. This is what happens. No <laughs> practice. <laughs> I've had lots of practice with 3D projects. <laughs> you have. I'm a pro at 3D projects, you man. Are a pro. I mean, well, I, I say that, but I, we haven't done the hardest 3D project part yet, That's which is true. this handle bit. I'm not so sure on this one yet. We'll, we'll figure it out we'll together because there. there's four different pieces here. You're basically making a big C or a small C. You're making one small C doing it all around because it is a little 3D little sucker there that you're going to grab onto pretty much. Hmm. Yes. We've got Susan on YouTube. She says, oh, such a cute idea. Love those apples. I wonder if kids nowadays have any idea of the origin of the apples representing teachers. Um, do you know the origin? Uh, do I know the origin? That's a great question. Do I know the origin? Do you? I don't know. I don't think I know the I origin. I don't know the origin. Susan, enlighten us. Were they hungry? <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it keeps doctors away and it makes teachers stay. Maybe that's the end of the rhyme. I got it. Teacher I got a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking over here. I like this box size. It yeah, does look like a cute little shoe good. box. Yeah. And it wasn't that big. I mean, or sorry, the paper itself didn't take a lot of room, but mm. you have a big box. You know, it's probably like the size of a... Oh, I guess a child's shoe. <laughs> a child's shoes. It'd be a really cute box for, you know, if you decorate other ways too. Yes, but exactly. today, again, we're focusing on the teachers. Yes, we're doing teachers. All right. All right, so, well, we wait for Susan to tell us what we don't know. Yes, we're going to work on the next bits here. So you have uh, this bit, these white bits is what we did here. That's the handles. There's four of them. They kind of look like C's or E's. C's, E's. It's easy. C's or E's. Hopefully it's easy peasy. So first step, obviously, is go ahead and score, score fold your score lines all the way around. But yeah, you can see what's happening here now, right? Because you have the side of the handle like that. See? So yeah, we're doing everything kind of in this 3D, 3D land, right? Mm-hmm. So we've got this here. So I'm also going to do the same thing on this one. Ah, I see how it's coming together. Yeah, on, honestly, oftentimes, if you don't know what 
to do, just start folding all your <laughs> score lines and it'll start making sense. Mm. That's usually what I do. Because then I'm like, oh, that bends here, that bends there, that goes there. Okay, I see it. All right. Or just, you know, look up our instructions. <laughs> That's easy too. Or watch this after it's over. Or watch this <laughs> not live. Not live and you'll After know, it's live. Yeah, we'll have figured it out by then. I hope so. <laughs> sometimes. No, just kidding. Sometimes we don't. No, sometimes we just don't do it as well as we Would have done if we had like more practice. Should have done it. It's okay. It's always the silly things that get us caught up. Yeah, I, maybe it's like <coughs> an overthinking. <Vinyl>. <laughs> <laughs> We've redeemed we are ourselves. We're not vinyl This is not mine. We're not a vinyl, vinyl We're not used to it. Yes, we're still we're, working we're, on we're not fired vinyl -y. We'll put it that way around. We are papery. Bam. Okay. okay. So I'm folding all these. Wait. Okay, never mind. I was like, did you fold this one already? You already folded all of them? Man, yeah. oh, you're a fast folder. I folded a little bit earlier. <laughs> oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. Lolly on Facebook just ordered some glue and cubies. Hey! Yay! Thank you. All that stuff will be shipping out next Monday anyways, so you'll mm -hmm. get it soon. Very soon. Or if on Amazon, they might come tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but if well, not, go to our website, barely.art. By the way, go to our website, barely.art. Yeah. Our website's better than Amazon. Yeah, we are better than Amazon. Just throwing that out there. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we've got a little pieces here. I am debating how I want to start this. I'm not. I'm going to do this. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm going to start with this, and we'll see what happens when I get to the other side. Yeah, I think that's probably the best plan of attack. So that's I'm going to on the, start on the top and then kind of fold everything up, and then the hard part is going to be this little sucker here, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter as much, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But, of course, you have to use Barely Art, our precision craft glue with our ultra-fine tip. Is Trademark. What our, Trademark, <laughs> which is our registered trademark, which is our, um, of course, our go-to glue. Of course. Of course. Sorry, I was just, uh, we were talking about legal, like, trademarks jargon. yesterday. Jargon. So I was just throwing that in there. Yes, indeed. To be, it's cool, indeed. you know, like all the cool kids, how they talk about all the laws and whatnot. Yes, all the cool kids do that. Yeah. All the cool kids. <laughs> well, that's the thing, too, is that did you know jargon is the right word? Like, it is defined as, um, what is it? like specific speech that the common person doesn't know that you need for a specific role. Yeah, I do know that it's because crazy. they taught us that in, when I was in, uh, in college, at business ah, school. Ah, yes. They were like, like, this is jargon. This is what it actually means. It yes. means, and then they define it. I think that was actually in my class, B law, business law. Really? Mm -hmm. That's funny. Yeah, because I had just learned that maybe, oh, this year or something like that. Oh, really? Like I heard the word like, oh yeah, jargon means mm -hmm. like, it's just just like that. I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> it's like, it, I didn't realize it had an actual real definition like that. Yeah. It's like, that's cool. It makes a lot of sense. Mm. It's like, oh, it's so much jargon. Oops, I forgot to turn that off. Wow. It's like the movie theater. You're supposed to turn off your phones and other devices. Silence everything. It's okay. We can talk to telemarketer on a live one day. <laughs> that sounds like fun. It does. They could be like those YouTubers that um, pretend to be um, like random people or whatever. You know what I'm talking Come about? Again? The people that scan the scammers. They don't scan the scammers. They like try to keep them on the phone for like four hours or something. Oh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so just to waste their time. Is that a good thing, I wonder, or a bad thing? Well, if they're talking to them, then they're not talking to anyone else. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing. Personally. And it makes for good entertainment. Because <laughs> sometimes they'll pretend to be like, like little old ladies little and things. Lady. And they're like, okay, you need to go to Target and get a gift card. I'm like, okay, I'm driving there. <laughs> and they're like, pull up like, like a game or something to make all the noise it sounds like they're driving there. Uh, or they'll get or they'll just get bored and like pretend to get in a rack or something. Oh my gosh. That's interesting. And yeah, basically the scammers get really frustrated at the end of that. Makes sense. Yes, it does. But it's also like, okay, well, at least they didn't actually scam a little old lady. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. I see, I see. We're see, see. I was thinking about like just people who are doing their telemarketing jobs. More than scammer. Oh, uh, okay, yes, yes. Not just, yeah, not your standard telemarketer type thing, but specifically scammers are like, yes, you have, you know, do you want, uh, what is it, your vehicle warranty is expiring. 
Like, man, that's been One inspiring things, for a yeah. while. Know, right? Okay, so we're just kind of building up the C, and all we're doing is just folding up all these pieces that kind of go around it like that. Da da. All right. I'm using some tweezers here just to kind of press on some of these inside pieces because it is a little bit tight. So you just pretty much what you're doing is you're building the sides and then you're wrapping everything up. Mm -hmm. So you put a little bit of glue on all your tabs. Again, just know where all your tabs are. A little bit of glue down and you can put it that way. So you're good to go. The Lulu says she loves the socks. All right. Mm. Yes, we love it too. And Catherine says the box can be used on so many different crafts. Yeah. There's a lot. I'm guessing that this box is going to become a base for a lot of things in the future. Just yeah. saying. So we'll you'll see more stuff with the box, I am sure. I'm also rather sure. Okay. We've got Susan with that answer with the uh, apple. Origin. Okay. Yes. What's is the so a few origin? possible origins? Biblical apples from the tree of knowledge. Oh, 16th okay. century Denmark and Sweden families gifting baskets of food like apples to show appreciation for teachers. And also as a means to help sustain the teachers with food as their salaries were so low. That's the one I was going with, yeah. unfortunately. But oh, man. that's the one I was going with. It's like, huh. Teachers, you deserve better. Indeed. We appreciate you. All right. And that's why we have a gift card on this because, exactly. they, you know, I, I, I understand. Y'all need some mm -hmm. little pick-me-ups. Indeed. All on right. one of the, um, oh, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. I was just saying that we have our little C thing here. So I've got this all the way around. I'm going to do now the inside bit separately, right? which might be the wrong move, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to find out. So on one of the things that I was, uh, when I was looking up like um, gifts teachers might like, mm -hmm. some people, there's, you know, everyone has their own, what they want and what they don't want for their classroom. Sure. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to always say this is it's not this is not like the rule, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people say uh, some of the teachers were suggesting that like they don't want school supplies for their own gift because it's for the that's for the kids. Mm -hmm. So they want school supplies, but just not as like appreciation gifts and I such. I see it. Yeah. That makes um, sense. Yeah, and then others were saying <laughs> this one comment on a teacher. The, co the teacher said, "Like, please, no more world's best teacher." They said, <laughs> "I've got fifteen mugs that say world's best teacher, mugs. A plus teacher." And so I'm especially, like, "Yeah, that makes especially sense." Especially for a guy too. Like, you're gonna get a lot of mugs like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is the guy like? Okay, well. Coffee. Exactly. Yeah. Got to keep up with all these kids. Yeah. All right, we got a question on what weight of paper are we using? That's a great question. Are we using 65, 65, 65 pound cardstock? We are using 65 pound cardstock. Yeah, that's our general go to. Indeed. Um, it's rare that we use 100 pound cardstock. It's just very thick and not great for folding. Yeah, I mean, um, you can use it, you can always use it as like a base for something mm -hmm. or like maybe uh, anything that you need it to be a little sturdier on, right? Yeah, you can, definitely can. Just but, Personally, usually our stuff is hard. very, yeah, our stuff is usually very thin and delicate for the most part. Yeah. So we usually go a little bit on the thinner edge. How is the inside of the bot or the handle treating good. you? Not bad. Fabulous, because it's my turn. Mm -hmm. It is a little funny, but oh. it's not bad. It kind of looks like a tiny little, okay, I don't know if Barbie's on the brain. I'm just like a little Barbie phone, you know? Yes, it does look like a little Barbie phone. But yeah, so we basically have this little C thing there. I've got that. Every time I say see thing, I keep thinking I'm saying seething. Mm. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not seething. It's like, hello, this is Barbie. You really do have Barbie on the brain. Dream house. What kin did what? Hang it up. <laughs> 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 Gotta go break kin out of jail. What? I don't know. That's one of the, the preview on the Barbie movie looked like they got arrested somehow. Oh, they did? <laughs> that's what the trailer looked like. I did not. Well, I guess I don't remember that part of the trailer. Maybe there's like a little picture where she is or can like posing with oh, the oh, thing. Oh, I see, see, yes. All right, just a little bit of glue. And there we go. That should be it. So you should have this little guy here, just like that. This little C thing. C thing. <laughs> C thing. And we're going to glue that sucker onto this like that so that we have a little handle. So that, oopsie. Like that. All right, Hello. now we'll wait for Andrea. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Thanks Got for it. waiting. 
Yes. So, got that. So for those of you that are now joining us, we're doing a survival kit for teachers. teachers. And our appreciation for teachers, uh, we've got this little kit here, so that we've got this basically little box that's going on with the handles. Uh, we have these here as well, which is our, this is going to be our gift card holders in the shape of a Band-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've also got some little little decorations and things yeah. here. We've got these little pencils, we have these rulers, and we have apples here as well, too. We have our note paper here. Ta-da! And this can all be found on our website at barely.art for the low, 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 low price of free. Free! Indeed. I did it. I did you a little did it. My handle. You got it. Da, 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 da. All righty. Cool. So you got a <laughs> box. We got it. We're, we can handle this. We can handle it. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> wait for applause. It's, please, it's all in my head. It's please big. clap. <laughs> I'm imagining people at home with their like phone and computers just clapping for me. Yes, they are. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Positive affirmation. All right. Let's see. So now we're going to glue this guy down. I'm going to use a good. No. No. Hold on. You forgot one thing. Oh, I've got Notebook paper's got to be Just put on. kidding. Ooh, that was a close one. You caught me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Notebook paper down. So, yeah, it's the bigger notebook paper. The big one. Yes. Yeah, because there's the five one. pieces. There's two that are very slim. Those are for the side of the box. Uh, uh, and then two very short ones for the other side of the box. I see. But then the really thick one, that's for the lid. All right, well, I'm going to go quickly because I already have glue on the other thing, so. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> so I've got this thing here. I'm going to cover up my coffee stains. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Good thing you can't really see it on camera, though. Okay, and I'm going to flip it over, press down a bit here. Make sure that's nice and flat and straight. There we go. Got that piece there. It's pretty pretty well centered. Teachers, heart, heart, heart. <laughs> that's what I wrote with my glue. You can't really see it. <laughs> can't see it. I like putting my little secret messages in the glue. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Okay. Then a little bit of glue on that handle, and then we glue the handle down. Yep. Right? Okay. Go for it. Okay. Try to line it up as best as I can. We'll call that good. And press and press like that. All right, I'm going to press on it. Make sure to press on the bottom too. Any 3D things that you do that you need to glue down, always take a little bit of extra time. Yeah. Use extra glue. Make sure that it's solid. There we go. That's good. Okay. It doesn't take a long time. And then also make sure that you get all your corners and your edges of your glue here. Should be good. There. Nice. Look at that. Fabulous. So this is where we are so far. So far, so good. I'm just going to work on the decorations. Catherine says, you two are so much fun. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yes, it Wouldn't be the same without you guys. Exactly. I mean, I guess we could do this we in, appreciate front of a, teachers. in front of a mirror. <laughs> we appreciate you too. Yes. <laughs> What's the, the, the Gen Z heart? Is I don't this know. It's this one. What is it? It's this one. You can do this. I believe in you. You're not that old. <laughs> this. Hey! 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 I did it. Good job. Oh, goodness. Uh, a lot of work. All right. Okay. So we've got that. Now, what are we going to work on? Decorating the box or finish up the gift card section? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting our um, little pieces together. Yeah. Little pieces together. So let's set together. this paper aside because it is relatively quick to do that. So let's go ahead and throw this together. So the box is the gift card, and the box has some other. Um, pieces here. It's like the little mm -hmm. ruler and pencil, mm -hmm. but working the gift card is just an apple and mm -hmm. like a band-aid shape. Yes. So I'm going to put my stuff over here and work on the gift card. Indeed. Okay, so we got the gift card part of this. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up fold this right now before I just glue it some wonky, goofy, silly goose way. Good idea. <gasps> oh, wait, never mind. Does it matter? No, no, no. I had a thought and but it was a pun, but it, I couldn't, I can't, I'm working it in. <laughs> well, if I can set you up. Uh, I was just trying to get to like Apple, like teachers are the Apple. apple. Of your Hold eye. on, don't say it. Oh, I got so apple the apples of in my hand. Iris. Hold on. 
hold up there. Uh, little eyes. Yes. <laughs> but I couldn't just work that in casually. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, uh, that's why I got excited. And I was like, oh, how cute. And I was like, oh, I can't put that in. Apple with your eyes. And then you asked me. So here we are. Here we are. This is All what right. we're doing now. Now we're gluing this down. So um, Boom. yes, so this is a gift card holder. If it's any standard size gift card. It's like that. And I checked. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jeremy I'm almost accidentally sure. threw away my gift card. But oh, anyhow. that's why we have the gift card. Yeah, I put I it away now realize. because I realized I haven't finished using it and someone could take it with the that's numbers. That's so. funny. That's really anyhow. funny. I literally didn't know why we had a gift card out here. Yeah. Even though we were talking about gift cards this whole time, I was just like, why do you have a gift card? I was more <laughs> curious about what the gift card was too oh, than the gift yeah, card you itself. Were that's why I was much. confused and I got stuck on like, well, oh, this gift card's weird. For those who are curious, the gift card was for stationery yeah. because I'm a nerd. <laughs> a crafty, happy, gonna buy fun paper nerd. Specifically for like for stationery, not like oh like Target or something, but like stationery. Yes, it was a store that sells stationery. Stationery, yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that's who I am. It's okay. I'll give you a barely art one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, I'll put this one down like that. Oh, Catherine says. I can make that box in red like a toolbox and fill it with tissue rolls for my dad. Hey, that's Cute. a good That'd be fun. idea. Do a toolbox and things. Yeah, I think the box is a good base. It's going to be yeah. a good base for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. A lot of things, especially with the 3D handle. I like the 3D handle. Yeah. It's really good. It does look like a little toolbox though. It's a good handle. It's a good handle. It's a sturdy handle. And you can use 100 pound cardstock for the box itself if you want it a little sturdier, I guess, too. Because yeah. it's not too too hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our glue works on that too, just FYI. Throw that out there. Yes. Okay, so band aid. But pretty, pretty easy. This was three layers right here. It's a band aid. Now I have a little apple, which is also three layers. I'm going to stick that on top. Mm -hmm. All righty. I'm breaking out the cubies. The cubies for the apple. Bam, bag of cubies. Remember, bag not cubies. sold anywhere. Cubies are just not the bag of cubies. The bag of cubies. In other words, it's called, uh, we kept opening more and more and yeah, more. Yeah, we kept needing it for random things and like pictures. And then the next thing you know, we have a whole entire bag of yep. cubies. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. I was trying to think of something with an apple. That's the way you bite into an apple. <laughs> I don't think that works. I don't know my idioms. Uh, um, maybe you should go back to school. Apple idioms. I can't think of apple idioms. I don't know. Maybe the back can provide us with some... Uh, Apple idioms that we can manage to work our way into our conversations. <laughs> That'd be interesting. It'd be very random, but... It'd be hard, too, because I can't think of Apple idioms just off the top of my head. Um, apple, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Apple. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, rotten apple. Rotten apple. Barrel. Something barrel like that. Barrel of apples? Barrel. No, it's like one rotten barrel. Nope, one rotten... Robin. One rotten... What? 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 One <laughs> rotten apple... Ruins a barrel of apples. That's the one. Oh, I think I was having a stroke. <laughs> one wapple, 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 wapple. wapple. <laughs> one wapple. Oh, gotta slow down. Yes. One I'm wapple. Talking. Wapple. Wapple. What if I had like a crazy accent? I mean, I think that'd we, be really hard to talk then. I mean, we we kind of do have an accent of yeah. some sort. Oh, kinda. Kind of. It just depends on who you're talking to. It just depends on who you're talking to. If you're talking to someone that's not from here, then we got a crazy accent. I don't think we sound like that. What are you uh, looking for? A bag of cubies? Something sharp. Um, my mind. Oh, goodness. I'm brilliant. I'm going to use these. Okay, you can use that too. <laughs> Scissors works. I don't think if I hold a cubie above your head, you'll be able to cut it. You never know. We haven't tried. I don't think it will be sharp enough to cut it. You don't think I'm sharp enough to cut it? Yes. <laughs> does it? Okay. I said it does. Oh, upset the apple cart. Yes. What is that? Yeah, I upset know. the apple cart. Why would you upset an apple cart? No, Why just, is the cart upset? I just don't not upset my <laughs> apple cart. <laughs> well, the apple doesn't Where'd fall far from the tree, so it can't be far. Why the tree? You must be here up here. Yes, upset the apple cart. Just... Oh, by the way, guys, just really quick before we get into whatever you're doing. Um, so, <laughs> so on the, our pictures, when you get the file that has the apple here, has an outline. 
Uh, currently, the file needs to be updated. For some reason, we didn't we didn't throw the outlines on here. So the pictures um, or the file will be updated. Just FYS. But you can put an off. It's an outline offset. You know, yes. like on de Design Space. You can do it yourself. But we will be adding that um, on Monday. Later. So in this case, we're just so we don't going have to one. So we're just going to do what the file glue has. Glue it down. <laughs> what the file? <laughs> 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 we're just going to do what the file. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, yes. <laughs> That's a good. We should do a segment called "What the File." <laughs> Every time something goes wrong. Yeah. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. Oh right. That's, that's a good, good job, Lulu. You smart. How do you like the apples? Yes. That's oh, true. that would be an easy that one to work in here. Again. Just hold on. Hold, hold that one. Hold it. Keep keep that one. Hold it in my mind's eye. Yes. The apple. The apple. Oh, my I got eye. my apple stuck on my finger. Apples in my mind's eye. Oh, that cubie sticky. I just want a couple cubies. Cause I want to see it. It's out of here. Boop, boop. Just like that. Oh, righty. The bam. This is a good, really All good right. project. Ta-da! And so this has space for you to put your gift card and a little nice note here. Note, Hello, gift teacher. Card. Thank you for dealing with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not a parent, but I feel like that's how it goes. I know. It is very apparent. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just got schooled. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Moving. Got that down. Right, we've got that apple. Now we got these apples. I like them apples. <laughs> there, there you we go. go. Okay. <laughs> just gonna put these together as well. Same same uh, thing as the dish decoration. So I'm just gonna cubie them up again. Yes. Yeah, so we've got our little, our little 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 um, pencil. rulers and pencils and pencil here and ruler. So this is what it is. I'll show you. Closer, give me a second because it's kind of hard to hold everything. Ugh. Got it. Okay, there we go. So it's four layers it's a black layer, and then a brown, then a yellow, and then this little red little eraser butt right there. So that's what we're doing right now. Andrea is uh, putting her apples together. Apples to apples. Apples to apples, indeed. Did you QB, or actually, did, uh, did they QB this together? Or they glue them. Um, I think the pencil might have been glued. Let me see. Yeah, the pencil was all glued. Okay, that makes sense. You can QB it if you'd like. Kind of hard to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did they go? Never mind. All right. So this is the only thing we use texture paper on. I think it's just because we had it. Nice but I yellow. Like, I like the textured. I love texture paper. The textured yellow there. I. But always mix and match. Right. That's really that's really, like really what separates a lot of the crafts from another is that if you use different types of texture paper, different metallics, yeah, etc. Like, this apple's types of cute. Glitter. But with shiny? Yeah, exactly. Mm, it's even cuter. So it's shiny. You have shiny apples. You can have like uh shimmer paper. Okay, okay. Here, let's see this. Let's see this. What are all the types of paper that you can think of? Okay. Do I just say use. one, you say one, or I just sure. say all oh, of them? Yes, yeah, let's do okay, that. Yes. Okay, okay, and yes. you can't repeat. You can't repeat, and then whoever can't think of one loses. Oh no, okay, okay. I'm gonna go with foil I think paper. You're gonna win. Metallic. Haha. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Glitter. Uh, shimmer. I think I'm gonna say that. So um, why? textured. Plain. <laughs> Called smooth. Smooth, fine. Smooth. I feel like that deducts points. Whatever. You got a B smooth. plus right now. Smooth. <laughs> Currently, I'm winning. I don't think so. Yes. Um. A question on the paper that we're yes. talking about: Is it like including? Is it just like material wise, or is it like any kind of different papers? I don't know which one you want to do. Um. Okay, I'm gonna say 100 pound cardstock. <laughs> Well, does that mean I could say 65 pound cardstock? Yeah, I guess or so. I guess we could say, okay, how about papers that we've slightly modified? Papers that we've used. We've used 100 pound cardstock. I know, that's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, then yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because then, then we know, because there's 100 pound, we obviously use 100 pound, yeah. 65 pound cardstock. Okay. Um, patterned paper. That's true. Like, Need. Hmm? Pattern paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, pattern paper. Needle labels. Ne oh, yeah, yeah, that's a paper. good one. Yeah. Um, digital paper. Ooh, yeah. ooh, that's a good one. Thank you. Ooh, uh, papers, papers, papers. Don't look around. Papers, crinkle. <laughs> that does not count. I don't think that it's counts. Paper. That we crinkle we don't paper. craft with it. It's we just an addition. Okay, whatever. 
Me I'm gonna too. go with glow in the dark. Okay, the back said tissue paper. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh yeah, glow in the dark mm -hmm. paper. Yes, yes, we have used glow in the dark paper too. Neon paper. Oh, that's where I was going next. Mm -hmm. I think. Let's see. What else? Mm, what, what else, else, have what we, else used? we got? What else have we used? Um, sticker paper says the back. Yes, it's a good one. Hmm. So we've gone textured, we've gone smooth, we've gone through textures and color, or not colors, obviously, because colors doesn't really count. I'm oh boy. Think. I'm trying to think too. I'm stuck now. I'm getting a little stuck. Oh, ooh, ooh. What? The craft here with the K, that brown craft. Paper. Oh, that is true. We have used that. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does have a little bit different ones there. Yeah. Um, skin tone paper. <laughs> That's just going on colors. I could say anything. Blue paper, yellow paper. Well, we used it. I didn't say what. It's a collection. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yes. I don't know any collections yes. like that. Jeremy, yes. can you enlighten me on what kind of really cool uh, paper you're talking about? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Well, acetate is a bag, but acetate's not paper. Uh, okay, let's, let's go in towards materials. Yeah, I guess we need a judge for these things. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. okay, wait, where did I, where did we leave off on? what I say? Uh, oh, I said skin tone. Yes, and which doesn't count. It. it does count. Okay, it does fine. not count. I pick another one for instead of skin tone. This is colors. Uh, let's see here. Other uh, papers that we have used. Um, poster board. Mm. <laughs> ha ha! Oh. Pass it back to you. <laughs> now what you gonna do? I'm gonna think. Mm. Can I think of the other, like the odder projects that we've done in the past, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. Oh, aha, I got one. thought of one? I did think of one. Oh no, I'm did. in deep doo-doo now. Yes, deep doo-doo. Hmm. Thinking think of, uh, think of other projects that we have done. Okay. With other types of materials that required other types of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Think of more crafts. More crafts that we've done <laughs> okay. that require. Otherwise, I get a bonus point. No. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That require. That we've done. That we've done. Other, other, other types, not just like this kind of thing. Oh, by the way, we're making rulers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mention. It. We're building rulers. We're just gluing or gluing. We're cubing up the rulers a little bit to give it a little bit more. Uh, effects there. Okay. Anyways. Mm, other types. Other types. Mm -hmm, <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. The back says vellum. Ooh yes, vellum. Yes. Is vellum paper? Well, it's close enough. <gasps> oh 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 what? oh! I, wait, mm, is it count? It seems like it doesn't count. Why does not, it not um, count? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mine I'm definitely to counts. So. I'm trying to think mine. Oh. Um, um, oh, but the word is. It's that one. Yepo. Yepo paper. <laughs> That's the one I was going to say. That ah! definitely counts. That def okay, okay, definitely cool. counts because okay, cool. it is something that we've used on other things. Okay, yeah. okay. Watercolor. Oh, true. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're so annoying sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. That's what I say. Think about yeah. other things that we've done I see, that I use see. paper. And we have used those in our crafts. Mm -hmm. We have used water pa watercolor paper. Um, for um, cyanotype. For cyanotype. We have mm -hmm. used UFO paper, which is that plasticky paper. For There's alcohol, alcohol inks. Alcohol inks that are sitting here, right? This is UFO paper. Ah, I bit my pencil! Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I meant it. I was surprised. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't know if we have any other examples of other types of paper. Iridescent paper? Ooh, iridescent paper. That's a good one. Um, we used vellum on that one. We've used... Do, 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 do. Glitter on that one. Is there any papers that we use specifically for cards? For cards? I know they do have like specific papers that they like, but I think it's all just like variations of like 60 pound paper, all that stuff. Because mm. they're saying like acid free, kind of like the drawing paper things, but mm -hmm. I don't really think that counts because we don't really use that at all. Yeah. Or at least I'm not going to count it. Um, I'm running out. Yeah. Running low. Running low. Low, 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 low. low, low, low. low, low, low. Loretta has a question on YouTube. Loretta says, Hello, Andrea and Jeremy. Are either of you going 
back to school this fall. No, we finished school. Yes, we have finished the school. Happily finished. Let's see. Uh, would you like to share your credentials, Jeremy? <laughs> credentials. Uh, in my former life, I was an engineer. Wow, do tell more. Mechanical engineer. No way. Yeah, I worked on uh, automatic uh, lights that move for concert venues. Ooh, did you ever meet a fancy celebrity person? Um, uh, like from a distance. Like they were working with us, but I wasn't in charge of like who, working who, with who, them. Who? Name drop. Do it. Uh, Ariana. Ariana um, who? Grande. What? <laughs> <laughs> who, who's the who's lead singer from uh, Rune Five? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Adam Levine. Lambert. No, wait, no. Adam Lambert. I don't know. I don't know who it is. I don't really keep up with them, but yes, yeah, some random people like that. But I didn't work directly with them. I saw them in about type of thing, but I didn't work directly with them. Mm. That was fun. So yes, mm. yes, I designed in that for a while, and then somehow magicked our way into glue. Wow! <laughs> you engineered <laughs> your way into over into here. Glue. Yes, indeed. Very it's cool. way better. When did you graduate college? I graduated in 2015. Oh, that's right. You graduated when I graduated high school. Yes. Because you're older than me. Yes. 2015. Very nice, very nice. Indeed. And I went to business school, marketing. I had a good... <laughs> <laughs> so busy. For a, a while. So my mom taught me when I was younger how to... Because I was, you know, spelling was not my... No, always my best. It's still not my best. But um, she would tell me to break things up, like together is to get her to spell uh, and i never forget that and so i had a bit hard time spelling business for some reason at some point in my life and i was just like oh like busy like you're busy at work or in an office at a business ness busyness and so i never forgot to spell it uh, but anyway yeah e so I went to s y n e s why what oh no no you're spelling it wrong oh i'm sorry you confuse the audience <laughs> don't confuse the audience it's busyness i thought Busyness, Busyness with an I. Like a B. Like a B. So anyhow. Yes. Uh, yeah, I Busyness went to business school, school and I did I majored in marketing and management. Ooh. We went to the same college, funny enough, just not at the we same did. time. Yes. Same college. And it's very close times, to this office. And different uh majors. Yes, but like very different locations. In terms of like, like the building. On the campus. Yeah. It's yeah. so like on campus wise, I was like far west-ish side, mm. you were like south-east-ish. Yeah. So to we answer your question, Loretta, we either. are not going back to school. Negatory. This fall. However, do I always encourage learning? Yes. Do I like to learn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to go to other things and possible classes? Job? Yeah. Oh, oh. And you do them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those three together. Oh, wow, I finished my things. Yes, by the way, now we're doing, I'm doing apples. Andrew already did apples. All right, let's see what the people say. Uh, Susan, for our paper thing, we've got some mm -hmm. suggestions on here. Mm -hmm. It was rice paper. Oh, paper, rice paper. Wait, photo, photo paper. Photo paper. Photo paper. Duh. Uh, we said a lot. Huh? We said a lot. Yeah. Um, origami, washi tape. Uh, origami, washi tape. Yeah. Close enough. Oil paper, wax paper, parchment paper. We have used... Parchment paper. We I have used before. parchment on like coffee one. filter. We, that, we have used a coffee, used filter, a coffee filter, yeah. filter before for yeah. crafts. And then they're answering it's Adam Levine, Adam Levine, oops, Adam Levine. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> you did it. Right, Despite say, our funness. I'm going to glue down my uh, notebook papers. <gasps> What's and that? we're joined by a little friend, Ball the Vacuum Cleaner. Woo! He's going to help pick up some of the QBs. Gone, 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 gone. <laughs> and just like that, our little va, va, our, our vacuum cleaner. Our vacuum cleaner. Our vacuum va has cleaned up everything. He's fun too. He's not for sale or anything like that. We He's just... not for sale. I'm going to emphasize that yes. again because last time someone was asking. I'm sorry. He's, He's not, not for sale. sale. We uh, DIY'd we him. him. Yeah, we gave him a little va face. So not for sale. Super cute though. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. That'd be a good giveaway, just as a random giveaway thing. Do we still get to keep one? Yeah, of course. Yay, good. We'll make some or something. But yeah, we just did a little bit of vinyl on this little guy and made him a little ball vacuum cleaner. That's all. Hmm. Cindy on YouTube says, do we need a cricket to do this? 
Um, you need a cutting machine. Yes. I would say. I mean, technically, you can print this out. You can. And like X, uh, 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 with Exacto sort yes. of knife it. Yeah. Um, Some of the harder parts would probably yeah. going to be like if like rulers and things, but you can uh, print it out and just cut out the ruler as is. Yeah. So you don't necessarily need it. It's going to be more helpful, I would say, and you yeah. get more precise cuts and things. We don't necessarily need it. Yeah, we do in the files. We always put like the PDF and the um. Like JPEG and things, so you guys can take that and run with it. Yes. If you want you to do, change just things be up. Creative. Mm -hmm. That's be creative. Be creative. Be, be creative. Be creative. Be, be creative. All right. I'm gluing down my notebook paper. I'm going to do it. Oh, <gasps> that was a better way, wasn't it? Oh, well, it's really now. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Yes. So the reason that I'm putting it downwards is because you can't see it whenever the lip of the box comes on it. So we're going to clean that off there, and then we're going to put our glue down here. Lots of little hearts, lots of little glue hearts. Just make sure you get all no, the I'm just corners. like totally gluing outside of uh, range today. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like over here describing things, and probably everyone's just like, we don't know what you're doing. We can't see it. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I believe. I okay, so we got that. There, like that. Got all these little decorations and things. See, now we can put this here as well. I got a little tabby. Rip that off. Okay. Okay, so we got that going on there. I'm gonna do this. Oh, we'll do it this way. I like that. Okay. Like that, then do the other side and just finalize our little decorations. Ta-da! So just a reminder, you guys, right now we are making a back-to-school teacher survival kit. And some of the suggestions I read online were, <clears throat> we have a list here. <clears throat> tea. Tea. That makes sense. Oh, in here, yes, tea would be great in here. Mm -hmm. Goodness. A gift card, of a course. We card. got our banded gift card cards. Yes, we have. We have. Uh, um, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Yep. Kids are sticky. <laughs> Kids are sticky. <laughs> um, maybe some aspirin. Aspirin. Oh goodness. Yeah. Aspirin, Tylenol. A lot of people on the, or a lot of teachers suggested a kind note. Kind note. Kind is personal good. note. Yes. And then um, someone had also said cash, just straight up cash. Just cash. They yes. said, I know it sounds impersonal, but cash sometimes. Cash. There you go. It makes sense. It does make it sense. It does make sense, to be honest with you. But bam, there we go. We've got that, Aww. our survival kit box there. Um, and so we'll have mm. some of the little pieces here. Almost done. Almost, Almost done. done. Just a few more things to decorate. More decorations. Okay. All right. So we have these little rulers and things. So the way that we have it on ours, is that we have them crossed like mm -hmm. this, and then we have the cross going on the, actually, this side, right? Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is like the survival oh, kit. It's kind of like a, yeah. Uh, I forgot I the so. side. Oh. <laughs> it's like a like, survival a kit. So it's like, kind of like the idea is based off like a nurse's um, like tote. Mm -hmm. So that's, we're making a little cross for like mm -hmm. health. But no. it's teacherified. Yes. It could be even a school nurse's box. Ooh. It's true. Teachers and all the school uh, employees and workers, y'all be working hard out there. No kidding. <laughs> Keeping our children educated. <laughs> the future is in your hands. Yes. Right. Okay. Got our little Apples ruler going down on that one. Yeah, so because uh, I QB them, it's already naturally QB'd here. Mm -hmm. I am going to QB the pencil and, and apple mm -hmm. on the side here. Good, good. All right. Oh, let's not do an X. We'll do a cross. <laughs> I was like, ha ha. <laughs> like, uh, no, we'll do it this way. There we go. Boop. All right. So put that on like this. Okay, yeah. And then the apple. Okay, yes. All right. Ah. Cubies, cubies, cubies. So yes, yeah, so you can decorate this however you want and whatever orientation you want. I'm keeping this lid on this just so I can see. Make sure that it's not getting in the way. Oh, that would have been a good idea. I didn't do that. So just a heads up. <laughs> I 
didn't take this. The, the I put. I, <laughs> I noticed Struggle it on there, but I hadn't them. taken the little papers off yet. Struggle person. Yeah, this silly goose stuff over here. Okay, we're gonna put this one. Actually, oops. I guess that's the way it's going now, but I'm gonna change it anyways. Boop, like that. Actually, <laughs> I keep changing it. I want this way. Yeah, that would be better because the lid will fit. Yes, it does. I also didn't think about that. Boop. It's okay. All right. Good, good, good. So you're building up like that. I'm gonna get the thick Bam. cubies because my apple's double cubie. So I'm gonna I need see, this for the, apple, for the pencil. Ah, keep dropping things. <laughs> All right, I've got my little apple here that's going down. It's going down. And then I'm gonna put a little, little <coughs> uh, pencil onto the side like that. I think I'm just gonna glue that down. Gotta get them out of height. and cubing. Oh, I see, I see. Ooh, little cubing. Get them I'm gonna try to keep it a little flat because I don't want all the stuff like getting too all over the place for mm -hmm. when you're trying to carry it around. Okay, so I'll put a little apple on like that. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, a little bit of some direction like that. Down a bit more, too far. Fabulous. Apple of my eye. Okay. We've got him like that. Now I'm going to flip over, do the other side with our little pencil and our, another our little apple. And we're going to put that right there and put this down. Mm -hmm. And we'll be done. Yep. Wow, this project went by quick. Yeah. <laughs> It's not complicated, but there's like little little pieces everywhere, and it's a lot of fun to Indeed. play with. Indeed. And of course, you can decorate this however it is that you want. Have fun. Grab some other tools or other patterns and things from Cricut. Play around oh. with the note paper, notebook paper, and things ruler. like that. I have an extra ruler. Where's You have five rulers. Wait, where'd you where'd you put your ruler? Oh, 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 on the back, of course. <laughs> I was just thinking of it as like a back. Oh, I see. Yes. Not like something to decorate. Mm -hmm. Silly goose, silly goose. All good, all good. All right, so we've got all of that. I'm going to start cleaning up a little bit here because we are almost done. Very yep. close to being completed. Ta -da. And there. with this ruler, thus the project is complete. Indeed. Also, I lost my pen. There it is. Okay, guys. Oh wait, do you want some? Do you want some floof? Yes. Okay, last little bit here. We brought some floof. Bum, bum, bum. Give me floof. Ta da! Yes. Bam. Boom. Boom. I want more floof. <laughs> you want more floof? It needs to be to, to have enough floof. You have to be very floof, like overly floofy, in order to make it like special. Because then, if you're under floofed, then it doesn't look right. Don't skimp out on the floof. Yes, no skimping on the floofing. There we go. See, look at that. Nice and floofed up like that. You've got this lovely teacher's box here. You can put a barely art for floof <laughs> right there in there as gift well. Gift card. Thank you, you art teachers. Teacher. We appreciate you. Yes. Good so luck with the school year. We'll Ooh. put this, our little card guy in there like that. And we'll put our little present in there like that. Or whatever you want. And then you put this on top and you give it to your teacher and say thank you so much for taking care of my child. <laughs> <laughs> for educating, for taking care of 30 children at once. Exactly. We, I, I couldn't be you. Yes. Really. Yes. Alrighty. Ta da! Ah. Oh, wait, did I put this down so you guys could see it? Take that out for reference. A little. The final, a final view for the you final guys. Final view, indeed. Da, 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 da. And that is our teacher survival kit box. <laughs> there it is. It's better in 3D. It Boom. Ta-da. Nice. With a card. With the card. <laughs> wait, 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 let me get my card out. I'm gonna card I want out, to show yeah. it. There we go. Boop. Bam. There it is. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. We want to say thank you again to teachers. 
fill us up with something you know your teachers might uh, like ask for personal recommendations or um, if you have some friends ask their recommendations for teachers like I said I had a few suggestions but I think you can get more personalized for sure um, especially you know at the end of the year teacher appreciation comes around yes and that, by that time you know your teachers a little bit more exactly um, but keep this box in mind for then too and then we wish you guys the best of luck this school year uh, you're doing great and then before we go off, yes. we got the big One more bottles thing. to yes, show. We did promise here. that. We did promise it. Thank you, guys. One bottle. Got one bottle. Boom. <laughs> All right, watch watch the camera up there, though. Bam. <laughs> Gosh, careful. All right. Ta-da! And there we have it. Our giant size things. If you so, want to see these in person and take pictures of them, person. you can if you come to the Penners Conference, the Will Rogers Center. September 22nd and 22nd 23rd. 22nd and 23rd. We will be there. We've got crafts. We've got glue. We've got cubies. Yes. Check it out. We've got lots of fun things. So <laughs> we can't wait to see you guys there. We hope to see you there. And uh, don't forget, we do have the discount. So you yes. can get that general admission ticket for only $7 less than a movie ticket nowadays. Yes, it is. And so much more fun. Always. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time. 